you ask and the Quran answers part 1. 1. Who is the Creator? O people, Allah is the one who made the earth a suitable place for dwelling living, and the sky firmly formed above you, prevented from collapsing. And he formed you in the wombs of your mothers, then made perfected your forms your forms. And he granted you provision from lawful, pleasant foods. He who granted you these blessings is Allah your Lord. So blessed is Allah, Lord of all the creation. There is no Lord besides him. Gophia 60, 64. O people, your Lord created you from one soul which is Adam, then he created from Adam his wife Eve. And he created for you eight kinds of animal for your benefit, from camels, cows, sheep and goats, from each type the male and the female. He creates you in the wombs of your mothers, stage after stage, in the darkness of the stomach, womb and placenta. He who creates all of that is Allah your Lord. To him alone belongs the kingdom. There is no true God besides him, so how do you turn from his worship to worshipping those who create nothing but are created? As Zumar 39, 6. O people, your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six days, with no precedent. He established himself on the throne in a way befitting his majesty. He made the darkness of the night disappear into the light of the day and the light of the day into the darkness of night, both chasing each other quickly so that neither is delayed. He also created the sun, the moon and the stars all subservient under his dominion. Is the whole of creation not his? Who besides him is creator? His alone is the command. He is high above any floor. He is described with the attributes of splendor and perfection the Lord of the worlds. al araf 7, 54. The one who does all of that O people is Allah, the truth, your creator and the manager of your affairs. Then besides truth, what is there except terror and loss? How do you turn away from the clear truth, with its proofs, to falsehood whims and desires? Yunus 10, 32. 2. Who is Allah? He is Allah, the one whom there is no true deity except him, he is the knower of the absent and the present, nothing is hidden from him. The benevolent of the world and the afterlife and their merciful, his mercy encompasses the worlds, the master, the pure and sacred from every deficiency, the faultless from every defect. The corroborator of his messengers with manifest signs, the observer of the actions of his servants, the Almighty whom no one can overpower. The omnipotent who controls everything through his power, the imperious. Pure and glorified is he from the idols and other things the idolaters ascribe to him. He is the creator who created everything, the originator of things, the fashioner of his creations according to his wishes. For him may he be glorified are the most beautiful names which contain his lofty attributes. Everything in the heavens and on earth glorifies him from every deficiency. He is the Almighty whom no one can overpower, the wise in his creation, legislation and decree. al Hosha 59, 23-24 I am Allah, there is no being deserving of worship but me. So worship me alone and perform the prayer in the perfect manner so that you may remember me in it. Ta 20, 14 Allah is the one who alone deserves to be worshipped. He is the one who lives perfectly without any death or deficiency. He exists by himself and is not in need of any of his creation. The creation only exists through him and is always in need of him. Drowsiness or sleep does not come upon him due to the perfection of his life and existence. He alone controls the heavens and the earth. No one can intercede before him without his acceptance and permission. He knows what has happened in the past and what will happen in the future. The creation has no share in his knowledge unless he wills to grant them some of it. His throne covers the vastness of the heavens and the earth. It is not difficult for him to preserve the heaven and the earth. He is high in his essence and attributes and great in his dominion and authority. al Bokaratu, 255. Allah enters the night into the day so it becomes longer and he enters the day into night so it becomes longer. And he made the sun and the moon subservient, each one of them travels in its appointed orbit until a fixed time which only Allah knows, which is the day of judgment. He who fixes all of that and carries it out is Allah your Lord. To him alone belongs the kingdom. And the idols you worship besides him do not even possess the thin membrane over the date stone, so how do you worship them besides me? al Fatih 35, 13. Allah testifies that he alone is worthy of worship based on the legislative and universal signs indicating his divinity. The angels and people of knowledge also testified to this, by declaring and calling to his oneness. They testified to the greatest thing anyone can testify to, the absolute right of Allah to be worshipped, and the perfect justice in his creation and sacred law. This is the greatest thing that anyone can testify to. There is no God but him, the mighty who can never be overpowered and the one who is wise in his creation, planning and legislation. Ali Imran 3, 18 Allah is my Lord and your Lord, and he is the only one that deserves to be followed and feared. So, worship him alone. This worship of Allah and being mindful of him that I instruct you to do is the straight path which has no crookedness. Ali Imran 3, 
51. 3. Did you think that Allah created you only for play and without any purpose? So do you think, O oh people, that I created you as a plaything without any wisdom, so that there will be no reward or punishment as with animals? And that you will not return to me on the day of judgment for the reckoning and recompense? Al Muminyan 23, 115. Does man think that Allah will leave him neglected without imposing any laws on him? Was this human being one day not a drop of sperm spilt into the womb? Thereafter he was a piece of coagulated blood. Then Allah created him and made his form proportionate. Then he made his species into two types, male and female. Is not the one who created man from a drop, then a clot, able to give life once again to the dead for the reckoning and recompense? Indeed, he is able to do so. Al-Qiyama, 75, 36-40 And I did not create the heavens or the earth in vain, but rather I created them out of complete wisdom to prove the power of Allah and so that he is obeyed in them. That is the belief of those who deny the truth who believe they were created in vain. So woe to these disbelievers who believe this from the fire of hell on the day of judgment, when they die on the disbelief and bad opinion of Allah they are upon. Should, 38, 27. Those who commit disbelief and sins through their limbs think I will make them in reward like those who brought faith in Allah and did good deeds, making them equal in this life and the hereafter. Wretched is this judgment of theirs. al Jazia, 22. And I did not create the heavens, the earth and everything between it in jest and amusement. I only created it due to a profound wisdom, but the majority of idolaters do not know that. ad Dukan, 38-39. For, for what did Allah create mankind? And I did not create jinns and men except for my worship alone. I did not create them to make a partner for me. I do not want any provision of them nor do I want them to feed me. Allah is the provider for his servants, all of them are in need of his provision, he is the supreme lord, every mighty, nothing is outside his ability. All of the jinns and men submit to his power, may he be glorified. Adds Tzariah at 56-58. Allah is the one who created the seven heavens. He also created seven earths just like he created seven heavens. His instructions related to matters of the universe and religion descend through the heavens. Perhaps this will make you realize that Allah is capable of everything, and that he be glorified has encompassed everything with his knowledge, nothing is hidden from him in the heavens or the earth. Arth the Lark, 65, 12. 5. What did Allah command us to do? Allah instructs you, O believers, to return things in your care to the people who own them. He instructs you, if you judge between people in any matter, to judge between them with justice according to his sacred laws. Allah's laws in every situation for you are, of course, excellent. Allah hears all that you say and sees all that you do. And Nisa 4, 58. Say, O Messenger, to the people, come. I will read to you what Allah has made unlawful. He has made it unlawful that you associate any creation as partner to him, that you disobey your parents, for it is your duty to be good to them. That you kill your children due to poverty, as the people during the period of ignorance used to do, I provide for you and for them. He has also made it unlawful that you go near immoral acts, whether they are done openly or in secret. And that you kill the soul that Allah has prohibited you from killing, unless it is done rightfully, such as in the case of adultery and apostasy. He has instructed you with what was mentioned so that you understand Allah's instructions and prohibitions. al 6, 151. 6. From where shall we seek guidance? I begin by calling on Allah, who is our Ar-Rahman, the Merciful, and our rahim the Compassionate. These last two names of Allah are derived from the Arabic word Rama, which means mercy. Proving the greatness and vastness of His mercy and that His mercy surrounds everything, and embraces all living beings. Every blessing is due to His mercy, and the believers receive the greatest mercy. All praise belongs to Allah with regards to His essence, attributes and actions, because He is the Creator of everything. Everything belongs to him and he is the disposer of their affairs, blessing individuals specifically and humans in general. Two names of Allah, or Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim, derived from the word Rama, or mercy, indicating his mercy for creation, with the believers being the greatest recipients of it. He is the master of the day of judgment, the day in which we will be brought back to life and repaid for what we have done. All of his creation will be held accountable for their actions and recompensed for them. On that day God will ask to whom belongs the kingdom today, Saragophia. 16. No one, no matter how high his status, will answer, and then God will reply himself, to God, the one, the overcomer, Saragophia, 16. We worship and obey none except you, we associate no one with you, and from you alone do we ask for help in all our affairs. All goodness is in your hand, and there is no helper except you. Show and facilitate for us the right way, the path of submission to you which has no crookedness, and make us firm upon it. The same path as those of your creation whom you have blessed with guidance, such as the prophets, the truthful, martyrs, and the righteous ones. 
what good companions these people make. Keep us away from the path of those who earned your anger, who knew the truth and did not follow it, as was the case with the Israelites. And keep us away from the path of those who lost their way and were not guided, because they were neglectful in seeking the truth and being guided by it, as was the case with the Christians. Al-Fatiha 1, 1-7. 7. Who shall we invoke in time of disaster? When the idolaters board ships and sail the ocean, they call out to Allah alone, sincerely supplicating to him to save them from drowning. After Allah saves them from drowning, they return to their idolatry, calling out to their idols together with him. al Kabut 29, 65. When those who transgress suffer from an illness or misfortune, they call on Allah, humbling themselves and invoking him, lying on their sides, or sitting or standing, wanting him to remove the misfortune from them. But when Allah answers their prayers, removing their suffering, they continue doing what they had been doing before, as if they had never called on Allah to remove their misfortune. Just as continuing in their error is made to look attractive to them, the disbelief and disobedience of the person who oversteps the limits is made to look attractive to them. So they do not give it up. Yunus 10, 12. 8. What happened to the previous nations when they disobeyed Allah? So I seized each one of those mentioned above with my destructive punishment. Amongst them were the people of Lot on whom I sent down stones of baked clay. Amongst them were the people of Sally and the people of Shu'ab who were overcome by a sudden blast. Amongst them was Kerun whom I sunk into the earth together with his property. Amongst them were the people of Noah and Pharaoh and Haman whom I destroyed by drowning. It was not Allah who wronged them by destroying them for no sin, but they wronged themselves by committing sin and thus were deserving of the punishment. al Kabut 29, 40. 9. Does Allah guard and save the Quran from corruption? I alone revealed this Quran to the heart of Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a reminder for people. I will guard the Quran from anything being added to it or subtracted from it, or anything in it being exchanged or altered. Al-Hijjah 15, 9. The disbelievers from all the various religious groups who disbelieve by making up wrong beliefs and rejecting Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, wish to eradicate Islam. So they undermine the clear proofs establishing that there is only one God and that his messenger has brought the truth. However, Allah will not allow anything to stop his sacred path being perfected and being made clear. He will raise his religion above everything else, even if the disbelievers hate that, and if Allah wills something, others are powerless to prevent it. At Torba colon 32. 10. Who should we worship? I am Allah, there is no being deserving of worship but me. So worship me alone and perform the prayer in the perfect manner so that you may remember me in it. Ta 20, 14. 11. What is the religion of Allah? The acceptable path in Allah's sight is Islam, the path of surrendering. Devotion of all good actions to Allah alone, submission to him in servitude and acceptance of all messengers, including the final messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him, with whom revelations came to an end, and after whom no sacred laws will remain valid except his. The Jews and Christians only split up into various groups and sects, after evidence was established against them in the form of knowledge that had come to them. Because of envy and greed for the world. Yet for whoever denies the verses of Allah revealed to his messenger, Allah is quick in taking to account those who disbelieve in him and his messengers. Ali Imran colon 19. 12. What is the religion accepted by Allah? Whoever seeks a path other than that which Allah has endorsed, the path of surrendering, Islam, it will not be accepted from them by Allah. They will be of those who have lost their souls by entering the fire of hell. Ali Imran colon 85. 13. Where does the Quran come from? The one who has revealed this Quran to you is Allah. He, may he be glorified, is the one who sent revelation to the prophets before you. You are thus not the first to whom Allah sent revelation. He is the mighty in his decision and the dominant in his affair. Ashura colon 3. Say, O Messenger, to these idolaters who worship others together with Allah. Does it make sense for me to accept anyone other than Allah as a judge between us whilst Allah is the one who has revealed the Quran which sufficiently explains everything? The Jews, to whom I gave the Torah, and the Christians, to whom I gave the Gospel, know that the Quran has been revealed to you, because the proof of that is found in their scriptures. So do not be of those who doubt about what are revealed to you. Allen apostrophe and colon 114. 14. Why did Allah send messengers? Allah did not send any messenger except to be followed in what they instructed by Allah's will and decree. If, when they wronged themselves by committing sins, they had come to you, O messenger, confessing what they had done and regretting it, repenting from what they did. And if they had asked for forgiveness from Allah, and you had asked for forgiveness for them, they would have found Allah forgiving and compassionate with them. And Nisu apostrophe colon 64. People were one community. All of them were in agreement and guided following the way of their father Adam, until the Satan misguided them. They were then split into believers and disbelievers. For this reason, God sent messengers bringing good news of the mercy of God for those who had faith in him and followed him and warning the disbelievers of the severe punishment of God.
Together with the messengers, God also sent books containing the undoubtable truth so that they could judge between people with respect to their disagreements. It was only those who were given the Torah that differed with regards to the matter of Muhammad, S, and his message despite its being clear. They did this out of injustice and jealousy. God then enabled the believers to recognize guidance from misguidance by his permission and will. God guides whoever he wishes to a perfectly straight path which is the path of faith. Al-Baqa'a, 2, 213. We had sent to every previous nation a messenger instructing his nation to worship Allah alone, and leave the worship of others beside him such as idols. Satans etc. Some of them were guided by Allah and had faith in him, while others rejected Allah and went against his messenger so he did not guide them and they deserved misguidance. So travel through the earth to see for yourselves what the end result of the deniers was after the punishment and destruction came upon them. And now colon 36. And I have not sent before you, O messenger, any messenger except that I revealed to him that there is no true God except me, so worship me alone and do not associate any partner with me. al and being a colon 25. I sent messengers to give good news of a generous reward for those who have faith in Allah, and to warn those who disbelieve in him of a painful punishment, so that people will not have any argument to present as an excuse against me after I have sent the messengers. I am mighty in my dominion and wise in my decision. And Nisa apostrophe colon 165. 15. Do we have to believe in all the messengers? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, believes in everything that was revealed to him by his Lord, as do the believers. All of them believe in Allah, all his angels, all his books that he revealed to the various prophets and all his messengers that he sent. They believe in such messengers without making any distinction between them. They say, we have heard your instructions and prohibitions, and we obey you by following your instructions and leaving your prohibitions. We ask you to forgive us, O Lord, for in all our matters we return to you alone. Al-Baqa'a 285. 16. What happened to the previous scriptures? Among the Jews are an evil group who changed the words Allah sent down, interpreting them in a way that they were not revealed. They say to the messenger, peace be upon him, when he instructs them in something, that they hear and disobey, and say, listen to us, may you not hear. And give the wrong impression when they say, Rainer. Meaning watch over us when they really mean runa or silliness. Twisting what they say when they want to call the Prophet, peace be upon him so that they say something insulting to the faith. If they had said we hear and obey, instead of we hear and disobey, listen, instead of listen to us, may you not hear. And had truly said, watch over us, then these would have been better for them than what they said, and more appropriate. Being worthy and correct behavior in the presence of the Prophet, peace be upon him. But Allah condemned them and removed them from his mercy due to their disbelief, because they do not have faith in any way that is beneficial. And Nisu apostrophe colon 46. Because of their breaking the promise that was taken from them. I distanced them from my mercy and I made their hearts so hard that no good could enter them and no advice could be of any benefit to them. They distort the placing of words by replacing them with other words, and by interpreting them according to their desires. They also left out practicing some of what they were advised to do. You will continuously discover, O Messenger, their betrayal of Allah and his believing servants, with the exception of a few of them, who fulfill the promise taken from them. So pardon them and do not take them to task overlook what they do, because that is being good and Allah loves those who do good. Al-Maida colon 13. 